Hey people, how are we doing today? It's time for a brand new video. And what am I going to do today? Let me see, what should I do? Whatever should I do? How about a taste test? I found these in a local store. It was called uh, United Grocery Outlet. And they are Newman's Own Organic Sour Licorice Twists. We have sour mango. We have sour lemon. And we have sour apple. Now, if you know the brand, then you realize that all the profits go to charity, which is a very awesome thing to do. So, well, it's also made with, orga made with organic sugar. And everything in it is organic. And it they all come from Mexico. There are seven different kinds. There's black, there's pomegranate, strawberry, sour apple, sour strawberry, sour mango, and sour cherry. And how can I pick which one to go first? Hmm. No, I'll just start with this one. And I feel like there's a little tray in there, so... Oh, there is. Ooh-wee. Oh, that smells good. And they look good. Look at them. Them look good. Take a big whiff. Take a big whiff. Don't bite it. That's all that. Right? Mmm. 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 Very nice. It's got a really nice apple taste to it. It's not overly sweet. Mmm. It's like it's actually like eating fruit with little little bits of sugar organic sugar might as well say that first organic sugar yeah that's pretty good in fact I would give that uh, an 8 out of 10 now oh wait let's do this one next mango hopefully I had to up right side up. Kind of hard to see from back here. And, and yes, it is very not easy. Oh, and they have the wonderful mango smell and the beautiful mango color. That is beautiful. And as you can see, there is a hole all the way through it. I bet if you wanted to, you could just use it in a straw. I'm not sure if you'd want to. Now, when I get done, I've got a special rating system for you. And hopefully you'll understand why. Let's try it. Hmm. Taste wise, mm, they're like high chew. They have an authentic taste, but not a whole lot of sour. I have not come across a whole lot of sour yet. And if you know me, then you know that I love sour stuff. I really love sour stuff. And so far, they haven't lived up to the hype of being sour. But I will give that a 7 out of 10. And now, last but not least, I love strawberry. I'm hopefully saving the best for last. I do love child food packaging. 
The only way to get childproof packaging open is to give it to a child. You tell them not to open it. Hmm. <laughs> Uh oh. These are a little bit on the sticky side. Let's see. Smells strawberry. Smells like strawberry jam. Hmm. It has a good taste. It tastes of strawberry. The apple tastes like apple. The mango tastes like mango. And the strawberry tastes like strawberry. That's what you'd be expecting. But it's missing out on one key factor. It's not sour. I will give that one for the sheer taste. Seven. Now my special rating system. I rate the sour. I'm going to start rating sour from now on. If it's sour enough, I will say a 10. A 10 puckers. That's P-U-C-K-E-R. <clears throat> not something else. If it's not sour enough, then it's a 1 pucker. Sounds like I'm wanting this pamooch. Or, um... Uh, no, never mind. Um, those get a three pucker and that's really all it's worth because they're good but they're not sour if it were me I put a lot more on the outside of it and make it really <clears throat> exciting well all in all like I said they don't get a high rating in the sour department in the taste department they get a seven all three well that's it for now if you like this video and it's your first time here give me a thumbs up and if you're first time here subscribe if you like this video share it with your friends share it with your neighbors share it with your neighbors friends and if you hated this video a whole lot share it with your enemies and let them know you don't like them hmm as always follow me on social media and what am I leaving out? Oh yeah, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And I, I do actually look at all the comments and I do respond. Amazing, isn't it? If you want to, you can write me a letter at Kenny Davenport at P.O. Box 198, Crossville, Tennessee, 38557. And remember, remember, to send a self-addressed stamped envelope and I will respond si vous plaît or RSVP or whatever. Well, that's it for now. There will be another one coming up. Hopefully, if you didn't like this one, there will be one that you'll like. Keep tuning in. You never know what's going to happen. Until then, I will say goodbye.